Nityanandam. Hi, this is Man Nitya Obhyananda. Thanks again for tuning in. I want to expand more on Swamiji and one of the million reasons he's so wonderful. And it's just to put it very casually, because there's so many beautiful things that he does and the words really can't describe. But one important thing that I'm learning from Swamiji that I didn't have before is powerfulness. The space of powerfulness and ferociousness. See, in our past, when we act on things, when I used to act on things, most of the time I was acting from a cognition. A cognition I developed as a young child, say. And most of the time when we develop cognitions about ourselves at that age, oftentimes it's a negative thing or a negative event happens. And so we carry uh, what's called SDHD, self-hatred, self-denial, self-destruction, self-destruction pattern. So most of the time we act from that space, and it's actually a space of powerlessness. Even when we act out of anger and aggression, it's actually a power, powerlessness feeling inside of us. So we feel like the only way to combat that feeling is to act out of anger. It's a very important thing that I've learned. Anger and frustration even, and vengeance. We think sometimes uh, if we're going to spite somebody or we're going to decide you know, we're not going to do something, we're actually not hurting that person. We're actually only hurting ourselves. So one of the beautiful things I learned about ferociousness and being in the space of powerfulness. See, a lot of times we want to kind of give up. It's easier. It's easier to give up on what's going on. Like, let's say something bad happens, or you've had a bad day at work even. What you'll typically do is you want to console yourself, especially on a Friday night, right? It's Friday night, you've had a hard week, and you deserve, you deserve to unwind. You deserve to give yourself a treat for surviving such a horrible week. So what do you do? You go out with your friends to dinner, or especially to a bar, or you go and you eat sweets, or you always do something, something to console yourself. But what if instead of consoling yourself, you can be in the space of powerfulness, and you can acknowledge, okay, I had a bad week, but why was it so bad? And what can I do to complete with that bad week? What are the things that happened that I can change in my life? So try to come up with solutions for those issues. Instead of getting depressed because of you feel you have an issue or a bad week, maybe try to see what is the issue. What is the issue that I'm having? I have to share this. I am trying to film videos all around the Adinam here. We're in the startup Adinam at Trishulam Adinam. So a cow almost just walked into the place where I am while I'm trying to film. So maybe you'll enjoy this. Very sweet cow. <laughs> but we have four cows here at the Adinam and they're very nice. Uh, but occasionally, somehow they wander in where they're not supposed to. Anyway, I was talking about consoling yourself. So instead of doing that, come from a space of powerfulness, powerfulness and understand that you have control over your life and everything that happens. That comes with having the space of responsibility. I found that responsibilism, understanding that everything that happens in and around me is my responsibility. So I know if I'm feeling in a bad way or if somebody says something or does something or whatever happens around me, I understand now that it's a reflection of my space. So if it's something that I actually don't like or it puts me in suffering, I wonder, well, why am I suffering for one? With the space of possibility, with the space of powerfulness, I can say, you know what, I don't have to suffer. I have a choice. It's a matter of decision. So I can say, no, I'm not going to be powerless and feel upset. I'm going to instead look at it from a space of powerfulness and understand that it's my responsibility to make a change. And it changed it in the situation around me and the ch change within myself. So it's actually a very beautiful, powerful thing. And I've only just now starting to pick up on it and really understand experientially how that feels to be in that space. So a lot of times, you know, when something happened that, you know, was sort of against what, I sh what should happen, it could be something as simple as like maybe some equipment not working in the office 
or you know something didn't go the way I wanted to forget about it man it was like the most upsetting thing to me and I thought the whole universe was against me because then you know you know when one bad thing happens you have a laundry list of all the other things in your life that are terrible and you think that your the rest of your life will be that way but it's not true actually we just the mind wants to just pile up all of the things that have ever happened that were bad to you to just push you down and hold on to that lower identity but th that identity is actually not who you are you actually are a powerful being and you just need to try to keep on practicing that with ferociousness decide I'm gonna be a powerful being so when something happens and I feel a little bit of suffering or depression I'm gonna raise above myself and I'm gonna have ferociousness and I'm gonna kick that thing out that thing that's making me feel low and I'm gonna just do something just take action even even if it's just you know you're gonna go around and clean the house that'll get your mind off things and then you feel like you're doing something you're doing something for yourself and for your surrounding even if it's unrelated Usually when we do physical activities, it helps push our mind out of that state we're in and get us into a different space. And then we feel like we're accomplishing something. And then we understand what we were experiencing before is actually just a jumping of the mind. The mind likes to jump around like a, like a crazy schizophrenic monkey, you know, <laughs> and jump around from thought to thought and, you know, continue to make us be in, in a bad mood or pile into all those things. But once you get yourself into physical action, a lot of times it's very helpful. So I wanted to share that with you because it's a really uh, wonderful thing. Because often in society, and you know, it's okay to console yourself. It's like normal, you know. Because I used to work in a Fortune 500 company, and Friday night, man, you know, hey, the sales weren't so good, or you had a hard week, this that. All right, let's go out, you know, happy hour. This vendor's uh, this vendor's uh, sponsoring a happy hour, or you know. Oh, you can eat buffet or go to the ball game or something, you know? So you would just, you wouldn't even, you would never deal with your issue, you know? You would just push it under the carpet continuously, continuously, and then what happens? One day you're going to have a giant pile under the carpet and you're going to uh, trip over it and then hit your head and then what? You're going to have an injury. So why not just keep it clean everywhere in your inner space and under your carpet and continue to keep it clean and look at those things just with a keen eye. You know, look at what's happening with you, find out, and even treat it like a game. You know, it doesn't have to even be serious. Say, hmm, I'm feeling bad right now. Let's declare to understand what's going on and just put ourselves in a powerful space. I'm not going to let this, you know, bad thought bring me down anymore. I'm just going to do something else right now. And then you'll find after five, ten minutes you forgot all about it because that's so much the nature of the mind. So try these little things. They're just little tricks. Have fun with it. But you can improve that thing. There's no reason for you to be depressed and no reason for you to go into that uh, thing in society, you know. You don't need to console yourself because you're not that person. You have everything inside of you to make things happen in your life and to make positive change. You don't need to self-medicate. It only puts you into more depression and makes the thing keep on coming back. So clear it out once and for all. And also another helpful thing, as I always say, is Go to the Inner Awakening program with Swamiji, His Holiness Paramahamsa Nityananda. It's such a wonderful starting point, especially if you're just getting into seeking and just getting into wanting to discover more about yourself and why are you like this, and to improve on your life and how you view things. He gives you the techniques, and not only the techniques, but the initiations, because he is an enlightened being. He's a more than an enlightened being, he's an avatar. So he can transmit his experience. So not only do you get like these everyday techniques and these tasks and these uh, things you can do once you get home, but you're actually getting those experiences from an enlightened being in your system. So actually, it's becoming part of your makeup your chemical makeup, your DNA, your inner space, your bio memory, muscle memory, bio energy, all of that is getting changed into a powerful super conscious being. So little do you know, as you're sitting there with Swamiji, these things are happening inside of you. So you really will improve your life. You'll get such a jump start on all of these things. And you'll come out being so powerful and successful in your everyday life. You'll see the change happen as soon as you get back from the program. So anyway, look at the links below, sign up, and please make a difference in your life. I'm looking forward to hearing about your change. Note your experiences in the comments. Thanks so much. Nityanandam.